What is going on? My name is Ario De Juice from Juicy Tech YouTube channel and podcast. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Um, hit the bell notification, comment, like, and share. And um, last but not least, this episode is sponsored by Course Careers, which is an online tech school helping people to earn between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars per year working in the tech space um, in different job roles such as uh, cybersecurity, software engineering, IT help desk or support, same thing, um, sales tech, project management, UX, UI design, so many different job titles and there's there's a lot more. But these jobs are paying between fifty dollars to $100,000 per year and of course careers can help you um, possibly land those jobs, earning that, that type of revenue after you graduate from taking their course and um, learn the skills and just have a better understanding of the tech space or whatever job title you are trying to land. So yeah, more information down below about course careers. There's also a $50 coupon code available. Once you decide to purchase one of their courses, you will have to buy anything from me. But if you do decide to purchase one of the courses using my affiliate link, I do receive commission. Again, you don't have to buy nothing, but for your convenience, all the information is down below in the box. Let's talk finally. So if you know uh, me by now, you've been following this channel <clears throat> for some years now, actually. Um, you know I've transitioned from logistics to the tech space, basically. It was quite the journey. It wasn't easy. It was very hard. Um, but I do want to discuss my new job role. Um, and I think I'm going to actually disclose where I currently work. So um, I was able to land a a contract role, right? Working for the Broward County, um, how about this right? Su Su Supervisors of Elections, right? It's basically a U.S. constitutional office, and they hired me there to work as a IT support person. So basically, this is where people from this county go and vote, okay? And there's voting machines at this location. And it's a um, it's a government building, which is a public space. So things are being audited all the time. <clears throat> there's camera crews there um, asking people questions. Um, this is this is election year, so it's going to be even busier this year. So um, yeah, they need a lot of help in terms of the IT team. So a lot of a lot of work will be um, assigned to us, troubleshooting, problem solving, um, things may break down. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect, but I hear it gets really crazy there. But I'm just grateful enough to land this job working for the county or working for the city, basically. Basically, excuse me. Again, <clears throat> the Broward County Supervisor of Elections of Joe Scott. Um, that's where I'm at right now. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this job role. My day to day right now is basically testing a lot of the equipments. So I'm working with a team of people and um, we're just trying to make sure all the equipments are working. And my voice is kind of raspy <clears throat> if you hear it. <coughs> it's a little itchy. So excuse the weirdness if it sounds weird to you. But yeah, so I do work with a team of people and we are trying to just make sure all the equipments are working correctly. So. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing right now as my day to day. And um, I need to get some water first of all. It's kind of going in and out a little bit. Plus, I'm a little tired too. So, excuse the raspiness, please. But again, so that's my day to day right now. I go in there, I check my emails, make sure I enter all my emails, and I go right to my team <clears throat> of people where we are basically setting up all the tablets. Right now, we are working with tablets, which are the voting machines, and we're just testing everything. So we make we just we just try to make sure everything is up to date in terms of the OS for um, <clears throat> the tablets, which is uh, an iPad. So we're testing that. We're also testing a I'm not sure if it's a software. I want to say it's a software or an app. Yes, say it's an application. So we're testing the application make it, to make sure it's up to date. Uh, we are testing by pretending to be the actual voters. So we have these um, the, these little cards with names on them um, and different information, but, the, but these are fake names. But um, we'll, 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 we'll 
input the person's first last name, their um, their either they may have a driver's license, so we'll put the driver's license number or a, a voter's ID, um, their birth date, um, also the address, of course. All this will be into the voter machine, and we're pretending to be, you know, a voter. So we're just going through the whole process or the procedure of trying to cast a vote. So we're doing that right now. Um, <clears throat> a lot of checking wires, just making sure everything is, you know, um, are basically um, charging. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're testing late, not labels, but you know, cords and adapters. Um, networks. We're just checking. We're testing everything until early voting. I, I, I believe that's sometime around March, but that's my day to day right now. Just going there and just test equipments, test softwares, troubleshoot, problem solve. Um, if I'm not sure what I'm trying to fix, uh, then we will escalate the situation to a higher up and they'll just come in and assist us as much as possible. But that's where I'm at right now as an IT support person. But again, <clears throat> I transitioned from logistics to this. My first choice in working in the tech space was actually um, an IT person, right? I just wasn't sure exactly what job title or what I wanted to do exactly, but I knew it was something with IT. Um, as I went on, and this is back in maybe late 2021, um, for some strange reason, I kind of got into software engineering. It was just interesting to know about coding and how all that worked. So I kind of wanted to mess with that first or more before, after I'll say, after me wanted to have, or me have an interest in working in IT. So I basically just switched from IT to software engineering. And I'm glad I did that because I went to a coding bootcamp, if you follow my journey. I went to a coding bootcamp. I met a lot of great people made a lot of friends and they end up being my references right so i i actually use these amazing people to help me land jobs because employers actually call people or professionals and just ask questions about you and of course because i know these people they will you know speak highly of me so that's the part of bootcamp that i love is the networking aspect you're you're going to meet a lot of people and <clears throat> I recommend that you do that. So just talk and meet people because, because you'll never know when you'll need them. Um, at some point, they may need you. The point is networking is amazing. So that's the amazing part about going to boot camp is meeting people in person and making friends and references. You get a lot of amazing re like references from professionals, 10 year um, developers, like senior developers, not senior, is it senior? Or just, high, just people that are just higher ups, CEOs, owners of businesses that are tech schools, amazing. But I guess I went from that software engineering and um, I kind of didn't want to do that. I mean, I still want to do it, but I try to do things very easily for myself. That makes any sense. So um, <clears throat> I think an easier route for me to get into the tech space was through IT and kind of just go from there. Software engineering, I still enjoy doing this. I still learn as much as I can about that, but um, I do want to just, you know, I guess want to take it easy and just not overwhelm myself. And I think IT support is a great entry level into the tech space for me personally, right? And then I kind of just graduate to other things once I just learn as much as I can um, on the entry level because I'm 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 still new to this. Um, <clears throat> I can't. I, maybe I should stop saying that. I'm not new anymore to it. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can. And I think being being around my peers as it, well just help me learn more or just not just, you know, about technology, but just life or, you know, what kind of decisions should I make or what's the right cert to, or class I should take to maybe step my game up in terms of learning about cloud computing or, you know, uh, network security. <clears throat> The conversations we have at work, <clears throat> excuse me, see, it's bad, <clears throat> are about that. It's, it's, it's related to those things. Just, you know, what are your plans? What certification are you planning on getting next? Why are you doing this? Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. So um, 
yeah, it's really awesome that I've and I'm in this space right now around my peers and just learning and picking people's brain because I do that all the time. Just learn from people by just talking, asking questions. It's awesome. So, um, yeah, that's my role right now. That's my role right now um, in IT support. And I do give credit to Course Careers. I actually took the course, their IT course, and it did very much help me a lot to understand the world of IT. Course Careers really have... Um, I wish it was available back then. Um, it wasn't available. Um, they only had a few courses at that time, but now they have a plethora of courses. And I, this is why I'm so big on people trying them out because I actually took one of their courses and passed it. And they did help me land a job as well because they help you with their resume, they help you just with everything, helping you um, potentially land a job in the tech space. I think it's probably one of the easiest um, options to um, learn from and to possibly land a job earning really good pay. Um, course Careers is amazing. Again, this is sponsored by them. But again, I'm, I'm also a alumni from the school and I very much encourage anyone that's looking to join the tech space, check them out because they, they actually know what they're doing in terms of their courses. It's so modern, the amount of information and the curriculum is so it, it's it's up to date. It's fantastic. Um, I'm looking to take another course from Course Careers, maybe their cyber security course. I'm looking into that soon, but I'm not sure if I want to do it. But that may be my next goal: taking that course, cyber security or something in network security. I'm down, and I'm just yeah, I'm I'm ready. Um, you know what? Either I'm gonna do, I might try the Google cyber security course. They out there. They they came out with one I think last year. Google. So I may check out the Google Cybersecurity um, course and then, you know, pass that or try to pass that and then take the CompTIA um, test or exam. But I think Google um, Cybersecurity, will be, well, it may be a really good entry level of learning, you know, what that is exactly and then kind of transition, not transition, but graduate to a more advanced, um, I guess, cert such as CompTIA. So, Baby steps, but for now, I did land a job working in IT. That's it wasn't easy. It was hard. I won't lie. <laughs> it was not easy. Um, a lot of job interviews. That's easy, but I, I I could do interviews all day. That's easy. Um, landing a job may take time because for just live different reasons, just a lot of different reasons that may take time to get because it's not all going to be perfect. In terms of people may not be in office. They may maybe forgot about you having an interview with them. They may close a job. Maybe they, it's just so many different reasons why it's going to be a lot of no's when you're looking for work in terms of in the tech space. Or maybe that's just my experience. I got a lot of no's. I won't lie to you. I won't act like my first attempt going to a job or applying. I got the first phone call. No, hundreds of applications I put in. Hundreds. I did. Um, but out of those hundreds, I did get a few bites. Right? I think I have... I've done so many job interviews. I've done second rounds, third rounds, ask tech questions, and it's crazy. But um, you always get that one employer or that, that one shot by someone just want to give you a chance and just get yourself and just get your foot into the door and go from there. So that's what I did. That's why I encourage everyone else to do. Just keep working hard. You're going to get a lot of no's. I promise you'll get a lot of no's, but you will get that yes. But that comes from just putting a lot of time putting in those applications, a lot of applications, and, you know, um, and just do one of these. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it with this video. Uh, happy about my new position right now. I'm excited. I did post some pictures on my channel, on this channel, um, the community post. Um, I did post a picture of me holding the actual um, sign of where I work. It's actually my name tag and my access key to enter the building. Um, it's a lot of security in there. Obviously, it's a government building, so it's really, really strict. They're not playing in there. Um, I mean, it's it's people are casting their votes, you know, so it's a big deal, obviously. So, yeah, it's 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 I'm just happy they took a chance on me and they allow me to work around their networks and their systems. And they trust me basically uh, with their tools and their just being in that facility that they, they trust me like that because it's such a sensitive and no no building it's a government it's it's a u.s um 
office basically right it's 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 a government office so it's a, it's a big deal um so security is very high there it's really high there and um yeah i'm pretty excited so much love to you have an awesome day i will continue to keep speaking about this new role i may post some videos about it me walking to the building we'll see how that works maybe i'm not sure but just keep in uh just keep in touch um subscribe of course any questions you have let me know we'll just go from there thanks for watching peace out